This is Australia. This is the Parenti Lizard. This is the Parenti Land Rover. In the early 1980s, the Australian Army identified the need for a range of versatile, all-wheel drive, latest technology vehicles in two categories, capable of carrying one ton and two ton payloads. One of the performance parameters was the vehicle's ability to traverse trackless terrain with the agility of the Parenti Lizard, one of Australia's most efficient desert inhabitants. The Parenti Lizard is strong, fast, and uniquely designed for its environment. It has impressive endurance and adaptability. So Parenti became the code name for a project to select the most suitable vehicles for the task. The Australian Army started with a clean sheet of paper. It invited the world's best four-wheel drive vehicle manufacturers to tender for Project Parenti. The project attracted interest from all over the world and from the many vehicles available, the Australian Army selected just three makers for official trials. Jeep, Mercedes-Benz and Land Rover. The testing program was exhaustive, intensive and possibly the most thorough endured by the three companies in pursuit of a great price. So committed to achieving excellence in this evaluation was the Australian Army that it formed a special unit the light truck trials team to carry out the exacting test schedule. As an example of the complexity of the task, the Army opted to not only test the vehicles against specific performance criteria, but it also measured running costs during the trial in order to accurately project the whole of life costs for operating a fleet of such vehicles in service. Land Rover Australia had a ready contender for the one-ton class, the newly introduced Model 110 four-wheel drive. Following modification by Land Rover Australia engineers, it suited the requirements exactly. But the real challenge was the two-ton category. And it was Land Rover Australia's innovative approach which eventually won for it the prize contract in both categories. The engineers and designers decided on a 6x6 layout to achieve maximum commonality with a one-ton four-wheel drive vehicle. They took the 6x6 from initial concept to the drawing board and onto the road in just over a year. The vehicle was virtually designed around the customer's precise specifications. Land Rover Australia gave the Australian Army exactly the vehicle it wanted, with the full approval and support of Land Rover Limited in England. Prior to committing the first vehicles to the Army's Parenti test team, Land Rover Australia's engineers set out to prove concept and extensive testing was carried out during vehicle's development stage. Testing began in September 1983 and the three marks were driven relentlessly from one motoring extreme to another for the next 18 months. To begin with, the Army's own military engineers tested the vehicles over a number of standard evaluation programs before releasing the vehicles to the Parenti field team. Performance in tropical conditions was tested in far north Queensland and hot dry tests saw the team in South Australia at the Woomera rocket range one of his most desolate and isolated locations. The Parenti team and their snow chains then took the test vehicles to the Australian Alps in southern New South Wales to trial the units in snow and ice missions. An indicator to the exhaustive nature of the test is the Australian Army standards on corrosion resistance. Both the chassis frame and cab frame are hot dip galvanised after assembly while the cab meets the Australian Army's severe 1,000 hours salt spray test, which is at least twice as severe as the standards required by most military customers. The major body panels are made from aluminium alloy and the cab is finished with a chemical agent resistant polyurethane paint. The cab itself is a wider version, which was also designed by Land Rover Australia's engineers 
to provide Army with accommodation for three fully kitted personnel, where many vehicles offer space for only two persons. The Parenti 6x6 has been designed for left or right hand drive application and also to accept a variety of engines and transmissions. More specifically, the Land Rover Australia philosophy is to build a vehicle precisely to customer requirements. Once the 6x6 concept became known, commercial users in a variety of fields saw great potential in adapting the versatile chassis for many purposes. For example, a SNE municipal authority chose the 110 6x6 as the basis for a refuse collection vehicle for use on beaches and parklands. Access to difficult locations, important consideration for yet another vital community service organisation, firefighters. The Land Rover 6x6, fitted with a dedicated firefighting appliance body, has proved ideal for a very famous group, the Volunteer Bush Firefighters of Australia. This specialised unit requires out standing handling capabilities, difficult or accessible terrain, and also reliable performance, as lives are constantly at risk in a bushfire. The Land Rover 6x6 has been commended by the bushfire brigades for its ideal blend of payload capacity, crew accommodation, and manoeuvrability within very compact dimensions. This is a truly go-anywhere vehicle, working in one of Australia's harshest environments. When the Australian Army took delivery of the first production 6x6 in March 1989, Australia's Federal Minister for Defence commended Land Rover Australia for the excellent manufacturing quality and integrity of design which the first production vehicles displayed. Of the many qualities required of the vehicle was the ability to be transported by air in a standard Hercules aircraft without demounting the canopy or hood bows. Land Rover's 110 6x6 was the only vehicle able to comply with this specific need, and this factor weighed strongly in favour of Land Rover in the Army's final choice. The Australian Army has already taken the Peretti six-wheeler airborne in an impressive display for Australian industry, media and Defence Force personnel when a combat-ready unit was parachuted in a low-velocity platform airdrop from an Air Force C-130 Hercules to a safe landing in the drop zone. The success of the initial production phase of the Parenti contract resulted in Army requesting Land Rover Australia to design and develop other bodied variants in addition to the 11 specified in the original contract. These extra models took the number of variants from 11 to 17 and included a general maintenance vehicle, an electronics repair vehicle and a field ambulance. These additional models have also been developed in close consultation with the user units and also have been subjected to the full range of durability and user trials. Land Rover Australia has also developed a special derivative for the Army's crack SAS unit. The special air service variant is a long-range patrol vehicle and this model has expanded the available range and added increased versatility to the 6x6 family. The Land Rover 6x6 vehicles have been under test with a number of different defence forces including Oman, the British Ministry of Defence, also Abu Dhabi, Pakistan, Papua New Guinea, New Zealand, Malawi and the Southeast Asian Army. This unit is seen being tested in the deserts of the Middle East. Successful field trials have resulted in the first export order from Oman for a variant of the 6x6 long-range patrol vehicle and further export orders are anticipated from a number of countries. In addition to existing roles, the 6x6 shows him. The response to custom made by the Land Rover organization is a vital component in the total service commitment by the company. Land Rover Australia more than fulfills the role of a project manager for military transport applications. As well as innovative design expertise, Land Rover provides consultant service for development of specific solutions to a variety of customer needs. Land Rover also provides additional service in the areas of driver and operator training. This is especially important in servicing and maintaining the vehicles. A significant consideration for military customers 
is the full NATO codified literature which accompanies the 110 6x6. These manuals are available for all derivatives and include user handbooks, workshop manuals and repair parts lists. As an example of the backup provided to customers, Land Rover Australia offers specific training support literature. Wall charts show major component assemblies such as transmission, engine and suspension components in exploded form. This increases the efficiency of maintenance and servicing for all operational units. The vehicle chosen by the Australian Army has beaten the world's best in a tough but totally fair fight. The battleground tested not only the contenders' vehicles, but the contenders themselves. The Army's choice not only endorsed the vehicle, but the organisation which produces and supports it. Land Rover 110 6x6 is a winner.